so to recap in last video i had created a virtual network with address space of this and then we had a sub a virtual network gateway created on it and we have subnet front end subnet back end subnet gateway subnet these are the ip ranges and gateway subnet is this so in this scenario since we are going to use bgp protocol i am going to enable bgp on this uh, virtual network gateway I'm going to use this ASN number, autonomous system number. So Azure Virtual Network Gateway are assigned a default ASN. Note that a BGP enabled connection between two networks requires that their SN should be different. So we will use this here on AWS, we will use a different ASN. So it's mandatory to have a different ASN number. If suppose you are doing on on-prem you should have a different ASN your you should check it your VPN device ASN number and then only you should assign a ASN number here it should be different from your VPN device ASN number this since we have active active enabled we have two ip address for this vpn gateway one is public ip address and second public ip address is this then we are going to need this custom azure epipa bgp ip address it is it is a property where this field is reserved for apipa automatic private ip addressing azure support bgp ip in range of this so it should be in range of this 169.254.21 star dot star so it can be three four five six like that and it can be so i am keeping it one and since in in case of active active you need one more here for second custom azure apipa B, bgp ip address so you you do this means i use three you are going to need it to set up it in aws so you need to expose this prefix routes there so in azure you need to say like 30 right aws you need to say that 30 so whole route will be exposed bgp route So I, I am enabling it, it will take some time for this update to take place on this uh, VPN gateway. Then we will go to AWS and create components there. It's taking some time, let's go to AWS and create a at least transit gateway there. I am on AWS On AWS I will first create a transit gateway I can give description and this Amazon side ASN it it is better than it provides more ranges than Azure so in Azure we had range of uh, so 
if I go to Azure configuration here we have set up 65010 so here we have 64512 so both are different we can choose it since both are uh, both doesn't match so it should work so once it is created this uh, transit gateway we need to before we go and create a connection i am using default vpc which comes with uh, by default with aws environment so i didn't go through that in that process so let's go to virtual network here uh, in we need to create a site to site connection first customer gateway so cost gateway to Azure. here we need to use uh, we need to use dynamic and here we are we are going to use what we used into Azure. In this, while creating this gateway, we are go going to choose dynamic since we are doing dynamic routing. We are going to use this uh, ASM we configured on AWS Azure. We are going to need our public IP address of our VPN gateway on Azure if we want to do active active we can create two two customer gateway since we have two public IP address here one this one is this primary public and one is second public right now I'm going to create one then we will create a second one So once customer gateway is created, we are going to go into site to site VPN connections. In here, VPN gateway to Azure. Since we are using transit gateway, we are not using virtual private network gateway on AWS. We are going to attach that gateway here and customer gateway. Since we are doing dynamic routing, we select that. We are not going to hardcore any Azure. IP CCID are range. We are not going to hard call AWS side CCID are range, but this one here is important. Here we need to use CIDR for what we configured here. So we configured here this. So what we have to do is 0 30. If you can give your pre-shared key for tunnel one if you want but it's not mandatory i will use this if in case we need for tunnel two as well and i will create this okay So here then we need to update this Abiba. So let's do the second tunnel 22 and update it. So here also we will do 22 for second tunnel and create our connection. Once connection is created, you can download 
generic file this is text file here you will find the information of the shared key as well as outside VPN address so first we need this outside VPN address for tunnel 1 so I will go to let's wait since I updated uh, this VPN gateway again BGP protocol settings on on VPN gateway so we can go ahead and create a local network gateway so let's create a local network gateway So L and local network LNG G one AWS com here we are going to need that IP I copied it from my file which I got from AWS so this I will I, I don't need address space to hard code the address space since we are using BGP I will put it into same resource group same location oh configure BGP setting we need to delete this why I found out we don't need to delete we can just uh, configure it here configure BGP we need to get transit gateway what we configured in transit gateway as ASN it is 6451 and then our BGP IP or IP address which we need to update we can find out it into here as well as it will be the same so this is our BGP gateway IP address BGP peer IP address once I update it A local network gateway will be updated with PGP settings then we can go ahead and create connections yeah. so here we need to enable BGP LGW con to connection tunnel 1 so this is for tunnel 1 I need to select my virtual network gateway Okay, let me go to virtual network gateway here I need to select this and then connections I will add connection so site to site VPN to AWS tunnel 1 I will use my local network gateway I need to get my pre-shared key from here for tunnel 1 this is my pre-shared key for tunnel 1 enable BGP I will leave everything as it is so this will take around 10 minutes so until this is going on we can pause so after creating this After 5-10 five, five, minutes, 
uh, my connection became connected on AWS Azure side. It's connected and it's sending data in.